Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Ocknick's YouTube channel. In this video, we will recall formulas in solving sequences and we will solve problems involving sequences. Let's have a quick review on the different formulas used involving sequences. The general formula in finding the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is given by the explicit formula. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d, wherein a sub n is the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, and d is the common difference. An arithmetic series is the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence. We have two formulas in an arithmetic series. The first one is S sub n is equal to n over 2 times the quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n, while the second one is S sub n is equal to n over 2 times the quantity 2 times a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d, wherein this formula is used if the sum is given but the last term and n is not given wherein n responds to the number of terms, a sub 1 is the first term, and a sub n is the last term. The formula in finding the nth term in a geometric sequence is given by a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, wherein a sub n is the nth term, a sub 1 is the first term, and r is the common ratio of the sequence. The geometric series refers to the sum of all the terms in a geometric sequence. The formula in finding the sum of a finite geometric sequence is given by S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times the quantity 1 minus R raised to n all over 1 minus R. This formula is used if the last term is not given, while S sub n is equal to A sub 1 minus A sub n times R all over 1 minus R wherein R is not equal to 1 is used if the last term is given. In this formulas, a sub 1 refers to the first term, r is equal to the ratio, and a sub n is the last term. Let's have some problems involving sequences. Amelia owns a hardware store and is looking over her past orders. Amelia's hardware store ordered 24 power drills in January. 36 power drills in February, 48 power drills in March, 60 power drills in April, and 72 power drills in May. If this pattern continues, how many power drills will the store order in December? The problem may be represented using the sequence 24, 36, 48, 60, and 72, wherein A sub 1 is the number of power drills ordered in January and A sub 12 is the number of power drills ordered in December. Since this is an arithmetic sequence, we will use the explicit formula A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d, wherein A sub 1 is equal to 24, n is equal to 12 because we have 12 months in a year, and d is equal to 36 minus 24, which is simply 12. Substituting the values in the formula, we will then have a sub 12 is equal to 24 plus the quantity 12 minus 1 times 12, which is also equal to 24 plus 11 times 12, or simply 24 plus 132. a sub 12 is equal to 156. We therefore conclude that there are 156 power drills to be ordered by December. Problem number 2. While organizing her DVD collection, Madeline put 2 DVDs on the first rack, 4 DVDs on the second rack, 6 DVDs on the third rack, 8 DVDs on the fourth rack, and 10 DVDs on the fifth rack. If the organizer has 10 racks, how many DVDs can the rack hold? The problem can be represented by the sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. 
Since we are asked on the total number of DVDs that the rack can hold, we are going to use the formula for arithmetic series, which is equal to S sub n equals n over 2 times the quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. But first, let us try to solve the number of DVDs on the 10th track. Using n is equal to 10, a sub 1 is equal to 2, and d is equal to 4 minus 2, which is equal to 2. Substituting the given values to the explicit formula, we will then have a sub 10 is equal to 2 plus the quantity 10 minus 1 times 2, or 2 plus 9 times 2, or simply 2 plus 18, or a sub 10 is equal to 20. That means that the 10th rack can hold 20 DVDs. Solving for the total number of racks, we will then have S sub 10 equals 10 over 2 times the quantity 2 plus 20. S sub 10 is equal to 5 times 22 or simply 110. Therefore, the rack can hold a total of 110 DVDs. Problem number 3. Bonnie is drawing stars in her notebook. She draws 2 stars on the first page, 4 stars on the second page, 8 stars on the third page, and 16 stars on the fourth page. If this pattern continues, how many stars will Bonnie draw on the ninth page? The problem can be represented by the sequence 2, 4, 8, and 16, which is an example of a geometric sequence. So we are going to use the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1, wherein n is equal to 9, a sub 1 equals 2, and r is equal to 4 over 2, or simply 2. Substituting the given values to the formula, we will then have a sub 9 equals 2 times 2 raised to 9 minus 1. Equals 2 times 2 raised to 8, or simply a sub 9 equals 2 times 256, which is equal to 512. That means that Bonnie will draw 512 stars in the 9th page. A baker is putting cupcakes on layers of trays to cool. She put 2 cupcakes on the first tray, 4 cupcakes on the second tray, 8 cupcakes on the third tray, 16 cupcakes on the fourth tray. If this pattern continues, how many cupcakes are there if the baker has 7 layers of tray? This problem, this problem can be represented by the sequence 2, 4, 8, and 16, which is an example of a geometric sequence. Since we are asked on the total number of cupcakes on the tray, we are going to use the formula for geometric series which is given by S sub n equals A sub 1 times 1 minus R raised to n all over 1 minus R, wherein A sub 1 equals 2 and R is equal to 4 over 2 or simply 2. Substituting the given values to the formula, we will then have S sub 7 equals 2 times the quantity 1 minus 2 raised to 7 all over 1 minus 2. Simplifying the exponent, we will then have S sub 7 equals 2 times the quantity 1 minus 128 all over negative 1. S sub 7 is equal to 2 times negative 127 all over negative 1 or simply negative 254 over negative 1 or S sub 7 is equal to 254. That means that there are 254 cupcakes in the 7 layers of 3. Let us now check your knowledge. While counting chairs in the conference room, Nicholas noticed that there were two chairs in the first row, four chairs in the second row, eight chairs in the third row, and 16 chairs in the fourth row. If this pattern continues, how many chairs are there in the conference room if there are 10 rows? Do not forget to pause this video while you are answering the activity. Let us now check your work. The problem can be represented by the sequence 2, 4, 8, and 16, which is an example of a geometric sequence. 
Since we are asked on the total number of chairs, we will use the formula for geometric series, which is given by the formula S sub n equals A sub 1 times the quantity 1 minus R raised to n all over 1 minus R, wherein A sub 1 equals 2, R is equal to 4 over 2 or simply 2. Substituting the given values to the formula, we will then have S sub 10 equals 2 times the quantity 1 minus 2 raised to 10 all over 1 minus 2. Simplifying the exponent, we will then have S sub 10 is equal to 2 times 1 minus 1024 all over negative 1, which is equal to 2 times negative 1023 all over negative 1, or simply negative 2046 all over negative 1, or S sub 10 equals 2046. That means that there are 2046 chairs in the conference room. Thank you for watching Sir Ofnik's YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning! Thank you and God bless!